Now what we got to do is you can see we've got guide overhang. The first thing I do is I take my grinder and I go in there and I trim the bronze guide and pull it down. Remember that we got the holes ring for the tube, but now we got this. Okay, notice that all I did was grind grind it down until the brass was level with the aluminum part of the guide. Now I'm going to go in here and kiss off on it. And at that point with the mapping, the sonicking, the installation of the tubes, now we're going to be ready to start cutting the ports. I'm going to turn it around and show you the intake side. You have to go at the very back of the guide and put your pressure there and then roll it up to the front. Then you want to try to blend the brass to go with the contour of the guide. We're going to do the intake side. I'm going to go in here. You can see how much of the bronze guide just really protrudes up the intake. And that's just unnecessary with the length of the guide that's there. So I'm going to pull that back so that it blends right with the aluminum. Okay. And you do it at an angle because the slope of the aluminum is at an angle. So, here you go. It's too much light. <laughs> I bring it right level with the angle of the guide because the guide boss isn't straight. It's just blending it where it lays right into it. All right, now you can see how the guide is now layered in and how it rolls right with the aluminum boss. I will be totally reshaping the aluminum boss as well and pulling it into it. But those are the steps you do for prepping for the tubes, honing them, knocking down the guides, and now the ports are ready to be totally cut and the modification's been done. It's been sonic, it's been mapped, we know our thicknesses, we know our volumes, we know our cross-sectional area, there's a whole sheet of information on it. And I have already seen the weakness of the KMJ head. I know now how to balance this port out, get the runners up, and get this thing to work. So the next thing to do at this point will be to go ahead and blue dock them and scribe the intake ports Scribe the line on the exhaust ports and marking that and then it's all ready to go.